All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about everything nozzles. What they are, what they do, what sizes they come in, and most importantly, when to replace them. All right, let's start off with the basics. What is a nozzle, what does it do, and what is it made of? A blasting nozzle is something blasters use on the end of a blast hose. The blast nozzle helps focus the stream of media into a certain pattern. Most nozzles are made up of two to three types of materials. For instance, our SLV nozzles have three different materials in them. They have the polyurethane outer jacket, the brass threaded collar, as well as the inner liner that's made of tungsten carbide. Now, other nozzles only have two parts to them, just like our fan nozzle. It has the polyurethane outer jacket and then the tungsten carbide inner liner. Just as a quick side note, there are different liners, such as in our XL Performance nozzle and our new Ultralight series nozzles. Both of these nozzles have a silicone nitride liner inside of them. It's a little bit more durable of an inner liner than your typical tungsten carbide liner. There are several different nozzles out there, but today we're gonna to be covering the nozzles that we carry in our online store. Let's start off with the nozzle type that's gonna be coming with your machine. This is going to be the SLV nozzle. This nozzle is a long Venturi nozzle. It's basically shaped like an elongated hourglass on the inside. This nozzle creates a circular blast pattern and it is great for general blasting. Next is our fan nozzle. The fan nozzle creates an elongated oval shape, making it great for brush blasting or when blasting delicate surfaces. We also carry specialty nozzles, such as the ST nozzle. This nozzle is great because it helps you save media when blasting small surface areas, such as pipes or fences. That leads us into one of our most popular nozzles, our XL Performance nozzle. This nozzle also creates a circular removal pattern. But with this nozzle, there's an increase in velocity of the media meaning a boost in productivity and efficiency. And another side benefit of using this nozzle is you can get a little bit more standoff distance, but still get great results. And finally, our new Ultralight Series Blast Nozzle. These blast nozzles perform just like our SLV nozzles, but their main benefit is, is they're really light. But on top of that, they also include a BP200 Scion inner liner, that's the same liner as our XL Performance Nozzle. So if you couple these lightweight nozzles with our lightweight whip line, you're gonna really save on fatigue on those longer jobs. And this nozzle is gonna even outlast some of its competitors. All right, so all these nozzles come in different sizes. The sizes are referred to as either a number or a measurement. For instance, our SLV nozzles come from size four or quarter of an inch all the way up to size eight, which is a half an inch. The measurement refers to the narrowest part on the inside liner. These different nozzle sizes are used in order to be able to match it to the correct size compressor, in order to always have adequate airflow as well as consistent and predictable removal rates. The nozzle size and CFM are paired correctly in order to hit a designated rate of removal or production rate as well as hit a set nozzle pressure. For example, our DB500 Mobile S is paired with a number five SLV nozzle so that even at high pressures, you still have an adequate airflow and plenty of supplied air. If you do this pairing wrong and say, for instance, you put a number eight nozzle on a 185 compressor, you won't even be able to supply 50 PSI to the nozzle. So in this case, bigger isn't always better. All right, so as tough as they are, nozzles do wear. That wear is heavily dependent upon several different variables. What kind of blasting are you doing? Are you blasting wet or dry? What kind of media are you using? Are you using glass bead? Are you using steel shot? What kind of pressures have you typically been running at? What kind of nozzle liner do you have? Do you have a tungsten carbide liner or something harder like Scion? And one of the biggest variables, how many hours have you been blasting with that nozzle? All of our recommendations are based around using crushed glass, but there are more aggressive types of media out there that can quickly affect the performance of your nozzle. For instance, if you're on a job and you need to dry blast, and you also need to use a really tough media, such as aluminum oxide, if you use a tungsten carbide nozzle, that nozzle is only gonna last you about 20 to 40 hours worth of blasting. But on the other hand, if you need to wet blast and you can use something soft like soda, that same tungsten carbide nozzles gonna last you thousands of hours. 
It basically breaks down to this. Abrasive traveling through the nozzle will wear its lining over time, which can lead to performance loss. For example, if you have a number five nozzle that starts out its life with a bore size of 5 16ths of an inch, if that nozzle wears just 1 16th of an inch larger, that now puts that bore size at 3 8 of an inch. That's the same size as a number six nozzle. You can test this by simply dropping a 3 8 inch drill bit down a number five nozzle. If the drill bit does not pass through, then you're good to go. But if the drill bit does pass through, it's time to take a look at your air consumption charts and see if you're still in a healthy range of performance. Meaning can the CFM of your compressor keep up with the PSI needed for your blasting job? Now, if your nozzle's new bore size is too big for your compressor to keep up with, then it's time to look at getting a replacement nozzle. This increase in bore size will affect production rates in several ways. You will have to work harder to keep up with your project deadlines. Your compressor is going to be working harder because of inefficient air usage. You're also going to be burning more fuel from your compressor and more media is going to be used because of the larger bore size. More media means more cleanup and higher cleanup costs. Having a worn nozzle might not seem like a big deal, but in terms of efficiency, it could cost you 10 to 20% more than if you were to just replace it with a new efficient nozzle. Bottom line is, is if you start to notice a decrease in your productivity, or you see that your nozzle's inside diameter is grown by 1 16th of an inch, check your air usage charts, and if you're still out of spec, make sure to pick up a new nozzle. Now, as tough as these nozzles are, their inner liner is made from a really, really hard material, which does make them a little bit more on the brittle side. So make sure when you're blasting, you don't throw down the nozzle and the hose. It is rare, but we have seen pictures and heard stories of the inside liner shattering in certain nozzles. So after any job, we recommend putting your nozzles in a safe, impact-free area to decrease the odds of them getting damaged. So be nice to your nozzles. Treat them with a little TLC and they will definitely last you a long time. All right guys, that's it. If you wanna learn more about these nozzles or find out what kind of size you need, check out our Online Academy's Blast Nozzle Selection Guide. And if you need a nozzle to help you with performance or even fatigue, head over to store.dustlessblasting.com where you have everything you need.